Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. Let's pull one card that will resonate and summarize your week ahead. So this is intuitive, a spiritual tarot and oracle um, card reading uh, for all Libras out there, collective, collective message. Peacock, it's a beautiful card, beautiful energy. This week you are playful, you want to go out, you want to speak with people, you want to show your achievements, you want to say, look at me, I am beautiful, I am happy, and you will be going into parties, you will be attending some gatherings, maybe meeting friends for lunch, and people recognize you that you are vibrating really high energy, people enjoy being with you, people adore you, people liking what you are saying, so they are really admiring you um, they see you as a very beautiful energy and they want you know to connect and be in your circle so let's clarify this energy further with our traditional um, tarot deck and let's pull the first row three cards and then we will clarify um, further okay you have nine of wands page of wands and the strand. This week you will be dealing with, uh, I would say, with your own insecurities, people that are admiring you kind of in a little disbelief, like how can it be that I'm being admired? That That is not possible. I'm just like a feeling that I always going against the stream. I always fight. I, I feel, you know, um, really, uh, very very um, small in compared with all you know those people's what they have achieved I haven't you know achieved enough or I haven't got enough of uh, possessions and really you will be having these conversations with yourself and someone will come into your you know um, world and will say what are you talking about? You are very strong. You are very passionate. You are very, you know, uh, adored, you know, by many of people. Why you don't recognize that you have certain qualities that not many people have? And that could be your f uh, very close friend, someone who is equally very passionate and a huge admirer of yourself who will want, you know, to say, stop the negative talk with yourself. You are adored. You are more than capable to do something bigger. You have everything what you need. You have good qualities. So maybe they actually prompt you to have a conversation um, about a new job or, you know, something that you need to change in your life that you could actually become that empowered person. This is definitely a conversation about something what you are really afraid. It could be basically you sharing with your friend a you know personal life um, personal life uh, situation uh, for some of you will be a conversation with a very close friend you know sharing um, that you are trapped you you really want to change your life it's it could be you know your insecurities it could be the fact that you are in a very unhappy relationship but you are suspending three of wands really it's someone who is you know, looking further next, what is my my future going to look like? Here you are afraid, you know, to make the decisions of move. It's 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 like you are consciously keeping yourself in the prison. You're not allowing the Tao moment to happen. Tao moment, it's a release um, of something that it's important to happen. We are going into the new moon energy which happens on the 9th and the 10th of july depends where you are in the world um, libra so what is the energy energy is really going to put on your on your path people who will encourage you to make big moves in your life who will be encouraging you to push forward if you feel you're stuck, if you feel that you are undeserved, and if you feel that you have so many inner fears um, that you just, you know, never can find the way, you know, to feel comfortable in your own skin and see yourself as those people who are saying, 
you know, you're amazing, you have all these qualities. It's a time for a change. It's time something to change in your life. And like I say, it could be, you know, relationship. It could be a really a self imposition uh, self imposed really a uh, prison where you keep you know yourself locked in those insecurities because you feel that you are not enough um, and you keep comparing yourself with others and people are saying stop you know stop comparing your life with others you have more than enough and if you want to have even more you can have it just dare to be brave so that's the message yes ace of wands a new beginning dare to be brave to start something new ignite something we have a domination of uh, wands for you so it's really about find that passion in your belly libra find you know the desire to to change your life to move on something that maybe makes you feel not enough Maybe it's time for you to assess your environment, where you are, why you are um, thinking this way, why you are imprisoning yourself in this unhealthy um, thinking. So the cards are very, very strongly talking about that you need to start to push to the new beginning. Dare to be bold, uh, Libra. There is a lot of potential and this week is a very karmically um, strongly inviting you to change your world why you are afraid of the change because you tried in the past and that didn't work itself you believed you know um, it's for me it's really it's talking about your day routines maybe you wanted to change your work maybe you tried to change the habits to improve your health and somehow it just didn't work you know you you were um, vulnerable you expose yourself to people you allowed them into your life and they let you down and it can be anything really libra it could be work it could be relationship it could be you know like i say your personal goals and aims that you just couldn't you know make it you for some reason it failed now the cars are really screaming and saying out loud libra commit to do the change don't be afraid to to expose yourself to vulnerability to to become you know that master of your life because you have all what you need you have all the skills so go and get it go girl go boy whoever you are whoever you are watching just do it um that's that's really the the message from the cards Libra, very, very beautiful energy. Do not be afraid. Let's look into the final message. Yes, the fairy kissed by Pixis, the dark lady and the singer of intuition. You are afraid that you might fail. There were maybe in the past the people who took you to the road which didn't obviously took you very far, right? So, um, false promises um you know uh i would say maybe even a really long long time ago you have been in the position of i would say you know doing something that really wasted your time it, you you recognize it just didn't benefit you in any way um and now you're kind of regretting and you don't want you know to repeat your thinking if i will take you know this new path i might fail so this is something to do with your past but kissed ferris kiss by pixies and the singer of intuition is telling me act now when you will feel the highest vibration the the mystique moment where you can't explain why you feel the way you feel act then because that will be that magic window where you can actually uh, secure yourself a very very great new beginning of life i hope you enjoyed my reading libra i'll hope i'll see you next week take care and good luck